hood isn't. Why is it? Why? Why do I look so white? Like my lips. I think that's the kind of uh, Are you ready? Oh, yo, what's up, guys? Today we are. You gotta look at the camera, Toda. Yo. All right. So. Uh, we are gonna be making a stink info. You gotta look at them when you test. So, like, you do it against the go. Hey, YouTube, let them know. Say, Yo. what are you gonna do today? We, uh, gonna we are going to be making some fries and steaks. Fries and steaks. So, what we're gonna do now is that we're going to. Okay. We're going to make. Steak, yeah. All right. So, what's the first thing you wanna do when they're making a, a steak? The best kind of steak that we make. What's the best steak we make? You, uh, Wait a minute, you gotta look at that because they don't know what to do. So, you, uh, man, all right, let's start again. Cut, ready? Uh, you, uh, Yo, YouTube, I'm here with my nephew today. He's gonna it's show you how to. Okay. We're not recording. All right, so you open. We're recording. I know that. All right, look. You at, open the steak. You open the steak first. First, you're gonna open the steak. And these are for some to two, um, some. Is the pan uh, hot? Uh, I don't know. Well, that would matter. So I would suggest put we put olive oil in the pan, and we're making sure that the pan is completely hot. The olive oil we already put inside the pan. You missed that part, right? So he washed his hands. His hands are already clean. But I think it's important to cook with kids. I think it teaches them independence, responsibility, and then they kind of see what you have to go through in order to cook for them. You know? All right. Then you're gonna want to get the steak. Well, we're gonna wash the meat a little bit. So first he wants to rinse the meat. We're gonna turn it on, kind of rinse the meat. Both sides. So I would rinse it, I take one piece off. It's okay. And then you rinse both sides. So turn the water on. It's one side, and then you already rinse the other. All right. Use the other one, do the same thing. Thank you, appreciate you bro. So then what you want to do is you want to give the pan a test to see if it's hot enough yet. So you just take a little piece of the steak and just kind of tip it over the pan to see if it's hot enough. But you put the whole steak in there dog, you're just supposed to put like a little, just a piece like this. So like, so like if you do this, then you know if it's hot. Now you know it's hot. All right, so we put both of them. Now, now, what we, now what are we gonna do, nephew? We are going to be putting some of seasoning. Some seasoning. Oh. All right, what seasoning are we gonna use? Uh, we are gonna be using some garlic like and whatever it's called. Garlic so, and seasonal. Seasonal. Show them what we're using so they're not special spices. Ah, right. I'm gonna the wrong one. All right, mm -hmm. so now we're gonna add that to our steak. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, so what first? Both? Doesn't matter. A little bit of each, bro. A little bit of each. How much you to put? Just sprinkle a little bit on each side. Make sure, okay, that's a lot. Like this. So like, yeah, a little sprinkle, sprinkle like that. Yeah, um, okay. okay. And then a little bit of sprinkle of the other kind. Make sure you keep your distance so you don't burn yourself. Okay, it's a lot of sprinkle. So if you look, hey, this is, hold on, this is, okay, good, good job. So like, just a little dab like that though. Oh, see me? You don't want to garlic salt this out. All right, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it. How do you flip uh, it, nephew? You get a fork. That's right, my man. Then, and what do you do? And then you just flip it over for the show. This raw meat. Take, 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 so then we wanna make sure the fry pan handle is here. So you have your hand on the pan, and then you're gonna take, it's the top piece of the steak. It's the top piece. Dig it in and just flip it. Take it and then just flip it over like that. Whoa! Bring yourself. So it's, it's grease, man. We're messing up the video, bro. All right. <laughs> it's grease. All right, video cut. Video's over. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. We're going to figure out what's no, going on. No, we are not ending keep the going. video. All right, all right. Keep going. All right, so now we got to flip. This part of the steak, you want me to do it, or you going to man up and flip it? Man up so and hold it here on the hand on and flip over. You can do this, bro. This is what your parent. Why you keep dragging up into me like I'm gonna help you? Yeah. 
Yeah, and just flip it. There you go, my bro. All the way so we can cook both sides of the meat. Okay, you quit. So let, me, let me do it. So just flip it back to where it was. Grab it again. You gotta go it. Yeah. Now you gotta there. see. There. Now you gotta see the both sides, homie. Nephew, don't take it off. There you guys there. see the brown part of the can steak. Can you put the rest of then we'll see the rest of the steak? Mm. So sprinkle your garlic on both sides. You gotta get both sides of the steak. We wanna use both sides of the steak, not just one. Good. Yeah, that's good. A little bit on all the way around, yeah, a little bit on that side. And this is how you make the oh perfect. Good job, perfect. Now a little bit of that season off. Stove light would probably help. That was nice. Not too. Good job. Good job. Perfect. And that's how you make the perfect steak. Ultimate. What? Hope you guys enjoy. And then you're going to want to wait for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And then your ultimate steak will be ready. Goodbye.